Do you have enough to retire? How do you know you have enough to retire? What should I be aiming at before I can comfortably retire? These are all questions I get all the time and they're all essentially the same question. Today's video, we're gonna go through a case study together. I'm gonna to show you a very rough way that you can figure out how much you need to comfortably retire by the time you get there. And then we're actually gonna compare it to the outcome from a financial planning software and see just how close my napkin math gets. So let's get into it. All right, so first let's get into the case study. I wanted to do something reasonable, so here's what I came up with. We have a couple, both of them are 50 years old. They spend about $4,000 per month in today's dollars and that excludes their mortgage. The mortgage will be dealt with by the time they get to retirement. Their retirement goal is 65 and they do not have a defined benefit pension. So how do we actually figure out how much they need in retirement? It's actually only a two-step process and I'll tell you why. The first step is to inflate your spending because you got to figure out what $4,000 a month turns into 15 years from now. And the second is to introduce something I'm calling Chad's ratio, which I'll get to in a minute. But let's start with the first step, inflating spending. All right, to inflate spending, it's actually a relatively easy process. You take the spending that you want, which in this case is $4,000 per month, and you multiply it by a particular equation. And this equation is one plus the interest rate that you're talking about to the power of years that we're waiting. So in this case, it's one plus inflation to the power of 15. FP Canada suggests I should be using 2.1% as my inflation rate in my projections. I like to be a little bit more on the conservative side, so I've been using two and a half. So this would be 4,000 times 1.025 to the power of 15. This works out to just a hair under $5,800 per month, or I would just call that $6,000 per month to make it a little bit of an easier conversation. So $4,000 per month in today's dollars 15 years from now will be about $6,000 per month. This is where we would introduce what I'm calling Chad's ratio. So I figured this out a number of years ago. Given a reasonable investment return in retirement, how much do I need in dollars to provide me $1,000 per month through my retirement? And I figured out based on a couple of different factors that this is somewhere between 200 and $250,000. So if we use this ratio and we know they're gonna need $6,000 a month or six units of $1,000 per month, I would say they would need somewhere between 1.2, sorry, and $1.5 million at time of retirement to retire comfortably. Now, before you get into the comments and blast me for missing CPP and OAS, I did that on purpose. I wanted to sh illustrate this in a world where CPP and OAS did not exist because it'll actually help emphasize just how important they are and we'll just do the exact same process again. So because CPP and OAS track inflation as well, we could do this one of two ways. We could either inflate both of those as well following the same equation or we could just subtract today's version of CPP and OAS and then inflate the new value. And I find that is probably a lot easier. So they're spending $4,000 a month in today's dollars. Let's assume both of them get the average of what you're getting for CPP, which is about 750 each. So that's 1500 for the two of them. And they've lived in Canada all their lives. So they're getting full old age security. So that'll be about 1400, meaning that there's only now an $1,100 amount that needs to be covered by their investments. That's a massive difference from 6,000. And so if we do that same calculation now, multiplying this by the 1.025 to the power of 15, we're gonna end up right around $1,600 per month. So now I just reapply Chad's ratio and I now 
saying that 1.6 times that range of 200k to 250 means they need somewhere between about $320,000 and $400,000 to comfortably retire based on this scenario, based on that spending, based on those assumptions for CPP and OAS. So that is a very napkin way to look at this. And it's not meant to be pinpoint precise. It's meant to be uh, getting you in the direction to aim at a very accurate number. So what I did then is I went into Razor Plan. And at K4, we use a couple of different financial planning softwares uh, because all of them have different strengths. And so primarily I use Snap Projection, but one of the strengths of Razor Plan is when you put in um, a set of assumptions and, and criteria, it'll actually spit out exactly how much you need in dollar form, or maybe if you need to take more risk, things like that. And you can see from this page here, this is the exact case we were just working on, it spits out that the clients need $293,000 to properly retire at time of retirement. So my napkin math suggests 320 to 400,000. The software suggests a base minimum of 293. I would call that a very good ballpark to be aiming at. I also like to encourage my clients to have a little bit of buffer. So I'd probably be encouraging this client to be aiming more around 350 to 400,000 minimum creates that buffer, that room for error, that room for um, spoiling grandkids or more hobbies or more travel, whatever it is. So if this is a question you've been asking yourself and you don't know the answer to it yet, it may be time for you to have your K4 financial plan. Even if you've done the napkin math and you want to just validate that, make sure you're on the right path, it might be time for you to have your K4 financial plan. Reach out today. We're happy to chat. And until next time, Keep planning.